Hey mathematicians, so today we are going to keep working with time, but we're going to talk about elapsed time. So elapsed time is going to be a little bit more challenging, so we're going to do the whole workbook page together today, and then you are also going to need your additional practice book because that's what you're going to practice in today. So, like I said, we'll watch the video. We'll do quite a few together because it can be a little tricky. But by now, we should know how to tell time pretty easily. So now we can count the time that has gone past. That is like what elapsed time is. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the video. How can you find elapsed time? Think about this question during the lesson. Janie took part in a charity walk. The walk started at 7.10 a.m. It ended at 11.20 a.m. How long did the walk last? Elapsed time is the total amount of time that passes from the starting time to the ending time. Another way to describe elapsed time is how long something lasts. The hours between midnight and noon are AM hours. The hours between noon and midnight are PM hours. Did the walk start and end before or after noon? How do you know? So what is noon? Do you know what time stands for noon? And I'm actually going to make it on my clock for you. The hour hand is pointing at the 12 and the minute hand is pointing at the 12. So what is noon? 12 o'clock, right? So their question was asking, how do we know if it's a.m. or p.m. here? Well, if they're gonna start a walk at 7, 10, what would make more sense? A.M. in the morning or P.M. at night? A.M., right? And then they're ending it at 11, 20. So we'd know that if it's before noon, it's A.M. 11, 20 is before 12 o'clock and it would be a.m. because you're not going to do a walk at 11.20 at night or p.m. That is when we would be sleeping. So let's watch and see the rest. The walk started and ended before noon because a.m. is used with both times. Find the elapsed time. Step one, find the starting time. How do you know this clock shows the correct starting time of 7.10? How do you know that it shows 7.10? I'm going to pause it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger for you. We should know that it's 7.10 because the little hand is the hour hand, right? And it's pointing right at the 7. And then we have the minute hand, which is pointing at the two, but we know we don't say seven, two, oh, two, because each big number, remember, stands for a multiple of what? Five. So seven is the hour, and then we count five, 10. So the hour is seven, the minute is 10. Let's see if we're right. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller now for you. The shorter hand is on the seven, and the minute hand, or the longer hand, is on the two, which stands for 10 minutes. Step two, count the hours. When you count one, two, three, four with the hour hand, what are you counting? Well, it's the hour hand. What are we counting? If we're using the little hand to count, we're using and we're counting the hours. You are counting the hours that pass when the hour hand moves from 7 to 11. There are four hours between 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock. 
Step three, count the minutes. Each number on the clock represents five minutes. So from we two to three is five minutes. And from three to four is another five minutes or 10 minutes total. Add the hours and minutes counted to find the elapsed time. The walk lasted four hours, 10 minutes. That's a lot of walking. That is a lot of walking. Could you imagine walking for four hours and 10 minutes? All right, so if you have, if mom and dad were able to get you a clock, this is a perfect tool to use for our elapsed time. Go ahead and tear out page 539. Tear it out or just turn to it, okay? So like I said, we're gonna do quite a few together so we can get the hang of it and then you are going to do the extra practice page today. All right? So again, I'm trying to make it nice and big for you. And I've got my clock and I'm gonna model how to do it and then hopefully by the end, you'll feel comfortable and you can do it on your own. So if the start time is 7.15, so this is where I'm going to use my clock. Can you see it? And I'm at seven is my hour and five, 10, 15. So this is what my clock is. If the start time is 7.15 and the end time, sorry, I forgot to notice and show you something, something important. And this is all crazy, here we go. If the start time is 7.15 a.m. and the end time is 7.45 a.m., why do you not have to count hours to find the elapsed time. Well, 7.15 a.m. and 7.45 a.m., they're the same hour. It's still within the same hour. They're both a.m. They're both in the morning. So, why do you not have to count the hours to find the elapsed time? Because it hasn't even been an hour. It's the same hour. It is still the same hour. So then what do you have to count? We're not gonna count the hours because it's still seven. What do we count? The minutes, right? And it doesn't ask you to find it, but I'm gonna just practice. I'm gonna have you practice with me. So if the hour stays the same, we don't have to change the hour. We just have to find how much time has passed in minutes. So they said they started at 7.15 and they went all the way to 45, okay? Well, 45, we should know what times five is 45? Nine, right? So we're going to end at 7.45, count with me. And my hour clock's gonna be moving too. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 minutes has passed. And we can just write that. Okay? All right, let's look at number two. A movie starts at 2.30, all right? Let's go ahead and make our clock, if you have a clock, make your clock say 2.30, okay? I have mine at 2.30 and it might be easier that way for you to see it. And ran for two hours and 15 minutes. So if I move my hour two times, count with me, one, Two, my new hour is at, this clock is not very good, is at four, right? So then it said 15 minutes, all right? Count with me. Whoops, what were we at first? 2.30. Five, 10, 
15. What's the new time? The hour is at the four and the minute is at the nine. Go ahead and write down that time. What time is that? You should have gotten four, 45. And then both of them were PM, or sorry, so 45, four hours and 45 minutes, it would still be PM, okay? All right, next one says to draw a number line. We're just gonna use our clock again. It says, count the hours from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. So if I have 11 a.m., go ahead and make your clock at 11 o'clock. It should look like this, right? And they want to know how many hours have gone by when we get to five o'clock. So we don't have to change anything with the minutes because if you look, the minutes, and I'll make it a little bit bigger for you. If you look, the minutes are the same. They're both o'clock. So if we're starting at 11 o'clock and we are going till five o'clock, we're just moving our hour hand. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we're at five o'clock and six hours have passed. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and look at number four. Can you see it? So the start time is 6.30 and they show 6.30 right here. The end time, so let's go ahead and put a little arrow right here. The end time is 9.50. from 6.30 to 9.30. So if we look, if we start at our six and we count to the nine, let's count. One, two, three. So how many hours from 6.30 to 9.30? 6.30 to 7.30? 7.30 to 8.30, 8.30 to 9.30. That's three hours. Or if we did it on our clock and we started at our six and we went to nine, we would say one, two, three. So three hours have passed. Now they want us to look at the minutes. Let's go ahead and write in three hours. Now they want us to look at the minutes. The minutes from 9.30 to 9.50. So if we make our minute at 30 and we get to 50 up at the 10, how many minutes is that? Count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. So the elapsed time is three hours and 20 minutes, okay? All right, let's look at number five. And I think, I don't like my little clock. I'm gonna say adios little clock and I'm gonna get my big clock. I think that's gonna be easier for you. And I'm just gonna move it down a little bit so that you can see the clock and you can see the questions. And let's start with number five. My page got a little ripped. Start at 10 o'clock, all right? 
I'm gonna start at 10 o'clock. I know my hour is at 10, and o'clock means my minute goes to the 12. And they want to move to three o'clock. So we are starting at 10 o'clock and we are going to three o'clock. So count with me. I've got one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, and when I get to three o'clock, I'm going to stop. Five hours. So the elapsed time is five hours. Okay, so you can do it with your clock or you can do it this way because all we're counting are the hours. If we look, the minutes stay the same. So when the minutes stay the same, and you only have to count the hours, you can also do it like this. 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to one, one to two, two to three, that is five hours, okay? Now, if we look at number six though, it's a little different. The start dot time is 9.15, all right? So I'm gonna make my clock at 9.15. I know my hour is nine, and this clock's loud. And I know 5, 10, 15, so I'm at 9.15. The end time is 10.45, all right? Well, I've gotta move my hour how many? If I'm at nine, I have to move it one whole time around to 10. So that's just one hour. And then our next step is the minutes. If we're at 15 and we have to get all the way over here to 45, count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the elapsed time is one hour and 30 minutes, okay? And then our last one that we are going to do today, 11.30 is my start time, okay? So I know the hour is at 11, and right away my brain knows that the minute hand is at the six. So I'm at 11.30, and I'm gonna move it down just a little bit more. Oops, can you see me? Oh, this one's a little different. It wants to know the elapsed time, but it gives us the hours in the minutes. So if you look, at 11.30, we're gonna count five hours. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So what's the hour at? This one's a little backwards. We have to figure out the time. The hour is in between the four and the five. Remember, smaller hand, smaller number. So the hour is going to be four. They, remember, they wanna know the time. And then they said 25 minutes. So we were at 30 and we have to count for 25 more minutes. Count with me, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So remember, our hour, even though it looks like it's at the five, it was at the four. So it is four, what? What's the time? What's the time when the minute hand is on the 11? Go ahead and write it down. You should have gotten 
4.55. So for the end time, it's 4.55. Okay? Sorry if it was kind of hard to see today, but hopefully you get the hang of it. Let's review for elapsed time. You're always going to, what's the first step? Find the start time, right? Step two is count the hours. And step three is count the minutes. Sometimes we notice you might not have to count the hours. You might just have to count the minutes. So you have to pay attention to that. Or sometimes you might not count the minutes and you just count the hours, okay? So I am going to send you off on your own. And um, remember, you are using your practice book and you are turning to and completing page 173. And you are doing problems one, two, three, four, five, and six. There is a virtual clock too online um, in Schoology. So if you need to use that to help you, go for it. Hopefully, if not, you have your own little clock because I let mom and dad know a little while ago that you probably needed to get one. So that is a great tool. All right, hopefully you will be able to be a time expert at this and I will talk to you later. Good job, guys, bye.